Welcome back everybody, I'm Pixel Dragon, and you're watching a Let's Play of Elden Ring. In the last episode, we found a lady named Raya, and got, uh, did a little side quest to retrieve her necklace for her from a thug, and in return, got an invitation to the Volcano Manor. In this episode, we are actually going to start at the, uh, in Lyernia, we're going to start at this kind of little canyon here, and we're going to make our way north and see... Um, see what the north side of Lyernia has. Uh, hopefully we can find a uh, um, a map or something uh, in that direction to fill out the rest of the Lyernia location. So I'm going to touch this just to make sure it gets cleared. Got some wolves, not super interested in fighting those guys. Okay, so um, taking the right will take me down to that tower that I really don't have uh, the ability to... Oh, the ability to fight or do anything for at the moment. Ooh. All right, so a little bit of uh, flame power. Smoldering butterfly. Looks like I got a badass knight up here. Oh, and he's got a big old spear and stuff too. Whoa. Fire blossom from that guy. Ooh. And he was tough too. Or like tough not as in like difficult to beat, but and he uh he had some poise and a decent chunk of health. Since I only used one health flask on that, I basically just refilled my health flask so uh it was all a net positive. Um basically didn't use any health potions. Oh whoa. Okay, there's a, uh, a stone giant over here. And he's guarding a building. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm not chasing that. All right. Hey, buddy. So he refilled my uh, refilled my health potions too. All right, before I go in here, I am going to explore around the perimeter of it. I want to see if there's anything else. I heard a whistle. Oh god, nope. I see a rune bear back there. I'm good. I don't need to explore the perimeter. No. Oh. Hate rune bears. They they are just like they're so fast, so powerful. Um I just I, I never had good luck fighting those things. What happened here? Be wary of bug in short fear. What? Uh, 
raise the bog. Okay. Oh, this looks like the well that took me down to, like, the Sof Sofria River or something. This looks like it's the same thing. I like the um, the artwork. It it, it kind of makes me think I'm like going into like an ancient elven area. Oh, it's not nearly as deep though. The other one took like a felt like a full minute to ride down. The Ainsel River. Uh, how much do I need to level? I need 10,400. 10, got 86.92. Uh, let's just use 2,000. Bumping that endurance. What's down in the Ainsel River? Wow, but that's a bunch of ants. Okay. Got some big old bugs. Some lots of dead bodies. Golden Rune 3. Okay. Come on. There you go. Oh god. Wow, that thing is just resistant to bleed. Oh, what? Oh my god. Woo! These things are kind of vicious. I mean, they're they're definitely beatable. Oh boy. Okay, this is an interesting place. Um I do want to keep exploring Lyernia is the uh, is the problem. Uh, well, we, we we did get access to this guy, uh, this little piece of treasure here. So let's just grab that real quick. It's a blood stain, yeah. A grace mimic. What is that even useful for? All right, so we got more ants. Okay, so this is like a big ton um, tunnel for ants. Um, that can be pretty interesting to explore, so I will definitely return here. I do need to go back and check out the uh, Sofria River well um, also. Alright, so what is this direction? Item ahead. Ambush ahead, okay. Where? Oh, right here. Okay. Nice, got the ambush. Magic grease, and that. Oh, I can't. I can't go forward. Okay. All right. So I got magic grease. Uh, that allows me. That that applies uh, attributes to my weapon to make it more effective. Okay, that's pretty neat. I like that. Let's see. Let's take this back up. 
Because I don't want to... Um, I do not want to go all the way uh, back past those wolves and have to fight that knight and all that stuff again. Oh, no, I'll have to... I will have to do that because... Uh, yeah, I, I because I rested. I forgot about that. I reset the world state. Oh, but the giant is gone. Okay, I, I, I thought he was just going to be like a permanent guardian here. Good to know. I've got to say that this, this game is just, it's massive. Um, like, uh, Lies of P, the last series I did, um, that, uh, that took a little while. I think I got... I don't know, was it like 52 episodes in? Um, uh, and here, I got uh, like 24 episodes, and, and I beat like the first main boss of the story. Um, of course, I was taking it a little bit slow. I was trying to explore a whole bunch and get my bearings, um, making sure I don't miss a lot of content, but still. Um, I, I, I think uh, there, are, there are numerous main bosses around um, uh, like that you can fight so I am not going to have any shortage of content for this game alright what's in here ha ah, stole your stuff see ya Wow, they got like one devoted, whoa, holy cow. It's like a blood mage or something. What is that? It's like a big old siege engine. What on earth are you? I don't want to find out what the front part does. There we go. Yeah. Big old angry looking cannon with a lava spout? No thanks. I'll just... I'll try and kill you early. Alright, looks like more smoldering butterflies up there. Oh no, it's uh, these mage dudes. You know what? I gotta give that dude props. Uh, his entire group other than him was murdered in one single hit. And he was like, nah, I'm gonna stand my ground. Dude's got courage. It was stupid, but he's got courage. Oh, these are like the little wimpy soldiers. fragment, another ruin fragment, and a ruin fragment. I don't have any idea what that would be useful for. Alright. Got a church up here. Oh, there's a side of grace up there. Uh, there is like a little uh, sword over here. Let's read the story on it. The Second Lyernian War, no victory for the Golden, nor for the Moon. No prize but atonement, the birth of a vow. Okay. Interesting. I wonder what the, uh, wonder what that vow was. Alright, let's get this side of grace.
Oh, there's a little, little dude popped up. Okay, I thought I heard something. All right, there's a lot of blood stains here. Um, let's just top off. I don't. I do not see anybody. Oh, hey, what is this? A giant turtle? You gonna eat me? It's wearing a pope hat. Praise the dog. You're tarnished, aren't you? I welcome you to the Church of Vows. I am Muriel, steward of this sacred chamber. My apologies for the unseemly state of affairs. Do you know the origin of this place? How it came to be known as the Church of Vows? I don't know. Well, that is a shame. But who can blame you? The shattering has caused us, all of us, to lose sight of something very dear. It is here, at the Church of Vows, that the great houses of the Erd Tree and the Moon were joined by the matrimonial bond between red-haired Radigan and Renala of the Full Moon. And so our church holds in view the monuments of both houses. The Erd Tree of the Capitol, and the Academy of Rea Lucaria. Oh, was there something you needed? You are free to show yourself around. I would serve as your guide, only my legs aren't what they used to be. If you find anything of use, you are free to take it with you. Unless, perhaps, you are in search of instruction. In which case, I will share all that I know. Oh, nice. Study sorcery. Study can get the incantations. Give a scroll. Give a prayer book. Let's ask about Radagon. You wish to know more of Lord Radagon. Lord Radagon was a great champion, possessed of flowing red locks. He came to these lands at the head of a great golden host. When he met Lady Renala in battle, he soon repented his territorial aggressions there and became husband to the Carian Queen. However, when Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was hounded from the lands between, Radigan left Renala to return to the Erdtree capital, becoming Queen Marika's second husband and King Consort, taking the title of second Elden Lord. The mystery endures to this day as to why Lord Radigan would cast Lady Renala aside, and moreover, why a mere champion would be chosen for the seat of Elden Lord. Interesting. Let's ask about Renala. You wish to know more of Lady Renala. She is queen, head of the Carian royal family, and governor of the Academy of Rea Lucaria, the great and beautiful full moon witch. Sadly, her heart was broken when Lord Radigan left her. And then, when the Academy rebelled against the royals, she was locked away in the Grand Library. Man, does he say anything else about Radigan? You know, it's said that Lord Radigan harbored a secret. A famed sculptor of the Erdtree capital was once summoned to render Lord Radigan's likeness in giant stature when he glimpsed the skeleton in Radigan's closet. And as such, it's said the great statue harbors his secret too. Okay, what about Renala? Oh, whoops. Is there something? In the end, Lady Renala was left alone, cradling the amber egg Lord Radigan bequeathed her. Now she devotes herself to it through forbidden rite, the grim art of reincarnation. You would do well to remember, severing a vow, strongest of bonds, has consequences ever more dire. And let's ask about Radagon, I guess, one more time. You know, it's said that Lord, oh, the famed nope. sculptor of the Earth, when he glimpsed the and as such. Okay, good to know. Um, I'm not real interested in studying sorceries or incantations at the moment, and 
Um, I want to give scrolls and prayer books to the people I've already met, so I'm going to hold off on giving those to this guy. Pretty neat, though. Oh, treasure chest. A gold sewing needle. Gold tailoring tools. And what is that for? Key item, maybe? Yeah, here we go. A special sewing needle for demigod attire. Allows demigod garb alteration at sites of grace. Okay, neat. All right, discover the Church of Vows. Pretty cool, uh, pretty cool place. And you, good sir. Oh, you are way more powerful than I thought. Ow. You, however, are just a standard weakling. Woo. Man, that dude had uh, had a bit of strength in him. Oh, there's just a bunch of rams. All right, let's see if there's anything else around. I think uh, the demigod attire thing may come into play later. Maybe I get, um, maybe demigod attire is like a special class of armor or something. Yeah, we'll, we'll find out though. All right, it doesn't look like there's anything to the side here. All right, is this the direction we want to go? I think so. Yes. Okay. All right. I think we're making good time here. I'm not really in the mood to fight another Reaper. Brave Violet. Uh, let's see here. Okay, let's jump down. Up, oh, there we go. And... Let's see. No, oh, that's where I took down the the weaker dudes. All right, in that case, we will just continue on northward. And this this map is very large. I I'm having trouble remembering how large Limgrave was. Whoa. Look at that, like, wow. It took more than his health to to get that down. Um, I'm having a hard time remembering, like, how large a Limgrave felt. Damn. But, uh, this feels larger. Oh, what the hell?
there's like a look at the size of that arrow where the hell did that come from oh, looks like maybe behind there Um, man, I man, that sucks. I like, I literally cannot see who was doing that. I hate like hidden enemies. Okay. Alright, so we got some minotaurs. And I have no idea what that, like, crashing sound is, but I have a feeling I'm not going to be a huge fan of it. Okay, got an early flower. Crashing sound is getting louder. Okay, so there's a dude over there. Oh my god, what? Oh, it's a mausoleum. Goodness gracious. I mean, is there like a ballista somewhere? Just shooting gigantic arrows? Let's see, I was standing right there. Man, they got some really, really good scouts. There he is. Okay, man, he's... He, that guy has, like, amazing eyesight. I have no way to fight him. Oh, and there's another one. Wonderful. Oh, man. All right, and I'm... I am now out of Crimson Tears, and there are two archers. Um, God. Okay. Can I make it? Oh, and there's a side of grace over there. I wonder if I can make that. Seems like a bit of a stretch. Hmm. I can't summon my wolves. Can I summon these guys? Go 
good lord. Hmm. Alright, that is my goal. Let's do this. Aha! Get off of me. Alright. Oh my god. Alright, so... Uh, let's see. Mix Wondrous Physic. Um, I wanted to change the um, one that gives me half of my HP back. I wanted to mix that with um, Dexterity Knot. Temporarily boost Dexterity. Because that will give me extra damage. Okay. So... I am here at the Ruined Labyrinth. Oh, that would explain why there are a ton of Minotaurs around here. Um, so this is actually a really good stopping point. I'm going to cut the episode here, and we're going to continue exploring the Ru uh, Ruined Labyrinth in the next episode. Um, we might try and take down that uh, that mausoleum as well. But man, these uh, um, these guys with the big magic arrows, they are... They are a force to be reckoned with. So, uh, yeah, in the next episode, we'll, uh, we'll continue on. So I'll see you all there.